Hello, this is Christy, and today we will create a nice effect in Camtasia with a talking head in a circle with alpha. Let me show you how this effect works and what's going to happen at the end. And we will walk through this and I will show you step by step how to achieve this effect. Before we start, I need to mention that this does not work in previous versions of Camtasia. I'm using Camtasia 2020, which came out this week. So this is a new feature here. If you look on the left where the tracks are, you might, if you are used to the old versions, you can see here there are some new options for every track. So we will be making use of some of those functions from here. So let's start. This is a video I recorded of myself with the camera from the computer and it, it has no sound. It just shows me talking here in a fixed position. So the first thing you need to make sure is when you are planning on creating this kind of effect, make sure that you speak in a static position. You don't kind of move around or uh, swing your chair or lean back and so on because it, it will change your position and then you will have to rearrange your cropping to center on your face. So I am just standing still here and talking and this is very easy to apply. So this is the video that I is me talking here and how can we convert this into a round talking head shape that we can use in a video or maybe superimpose it onto another video, maybe showing a tutorial or a, another video on the timeline. So this is how you do it. First of all, you need to place your talking video on the timeline and then you need to go to annotations and switch to the shapes section. And if you don't have all here, select all from the style and try and find a round shape. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this round shape, this round orange circle, but um, you can also of course use other shapes. It doesn't really matter what shape you're using and just drag this onto your scene and it will add it to your timeline as well. Change this shape's color to the black, to be black, the solid fill and make it black here. Okay, and now you need to center this shape onto your face where or your head where you want the, the shape to appear. So everything outside of this shape will not be visible. If you, if you need a little help placing it, you can dial down the opacity so that you can see through it, change to the selection tool and just resize it. If you want to resize it as a circle, hold down the shift key when you resize it and just frame your face to where you want it to be fixed to the face. When you're done, turn the opacity back up again. And now this is the tricky part. You need to spread this shape to span the entire time that you will be talking and it needs to be on top of the video clip that you're trying to crop. And now we will make use of this new function that has been added in Camtasia. You see that the track has an icon here for visibility, disable and enable track. But if you right click on this track, you open this new menu called track matte mode. So if I do it here, track matte mode, it says none, alpha, alpha invert, luminosity, luminosity invert, and you have a help thing here. So what we want to do Let's move this up here so it's visible in the frame. Okay, so these are the two clips. So on the shape layer, I want to right click on the eye and choose alpha. So you see already the effect is already visible. Now this could be enough here if you were happy like this and if you want to maybe add another clip let's see if we add a clip underneath all both of these you will see now that my talking head is in fact um, taken away so but you've noticed that if I try and move this it moves the shape only so if I want to move it and place it somewhere else I need to always make sure that both layers are selected both tracks right so to avoid having to do this and also to allow us to maybe add a shadow, a drop shadow to this head to appear a bit lifted from the page or the video, it, this is not possible to do right now. So let me show you. If I try and add a drop shadow from the visual effects and I select 
drop shadow and try and add it. It adds the drop shadow, but it actually adds it and extends the mask. So you can actually see bits of the video playing in the mask. So that's not a desirable, of course. What I want to do is add a shadow to the entire ensemble that I created here. So I'm going to take away the mat, the shadow right now, the drop shadow. So one way to achieve this is to select both of these tracks, the one with the shape and the one with the video and group them. But watch what happens now. If I group them, right click and say group, the face disappears. For some reason, the alpha doesn't work inside a group unless you invert it. So we open the group by using this plus icon here next to the group. There's the shape inside and there's the video. And you notice that the eye icon on the track four indicates that an effect has been added to the visibility. If I right click there, choose instead of alpha, choose alpha invert. And now the face is back. The, the grouping is still there. And if I close the group now and I try and move things, they are staying together, of course, because they are in a group. And further, I can actually add now a drop shadow on the group itself. So as you can see, I have a drop shadow here, which maybe I can move it so you can see it and the opacity of the drop shadow. And this one stays together with the group. Of course, if I want to maybe still move the shape and center it a bit, I can open the group, click on the shape layer and still correct that and move it. But as long as it stays within that group, it will completely move together with my video. So you can even animate this, fade it in and out, scale it if you want and everything else you can do together. So this is how you create the stalking head and the effect here is working. Let me demonstrate now. So this is me working on top of another video, talking on, in a talking head circle and with alpha and drop shadow. So I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and see you next time.